Hi, this is John with Coach Youths. In this video, I'm going to show you how to share your playbooks with your teams. So to, to manage your team, you should go to View All Teams. As you can see, I currently have no team, so we'll need to create a team so that we can share our playbooks with them. First thing we'll do is click on Create a Team. I'm going to enter the team name. I'm just going to call it My Team. Click on the Add Team button, and My Team has been created. Here you can see we have, it'll list the number of coaches, players, and parents who are active and will have access to the playbooks we share and that are pending, meaning we have invited them, but they have not yet accepted the invitation and joined our team. Right now we have none of any kind. So we need to go to the Edit Team so we can start adding. From the Edit Team menu, you can see the first option we have is Settings, which is just the team name. We have Manage Coaches, Manage Players, and Manage Parents. I want to add a player to my team, so I'm going to click on Manage Players. And from here you can see it'll, sh it'll show a list of all the active players, which we currently have none of, and all the invited players, which we also have none. So we'll need to invite a player. Click on the Invite Player button. All you need to invite a player is their first name, their last name, and their email address. And click the Invite Player button. It tells us Joe Player has been added as a player. And you can see here that it that it is pending. If we want to add parents or coaches, it's the exact same process. And again, there'll be a list of parents that have accepted and a list that have been invited. The same goes for coaches. So now that we have created our team, you can invite all your players. Once you have that done, you can go to Playbooks, choose any of the playbooks you want to share. I've only currently got the one that we worked on in some of our other videos. So I'm going to go into that playbook and I'm going to go into the settings. And here you see our permissions and our team sharing. Now that we created a team, you can see my team is available over here, but it's not active. It's got the red X. I want to activate it. And so now this, this playbook is now enabled to be shared with all the members of my team. Now within that team, I can come over here and adjust their exact permissions. So let's say I want players and parents to be able to view. I would leave those enabled but I don't necessarily want players having access to download and print and potentially share their playbooks with other people they shouldn't. That may or may not be a concern, but you can turn it off or on. Once you've got all your permissions set exactly how you like, you can go over here and make sure to click Save. Now that it's saved, these permissions will all take effect and any of the members of your team will not have access. And that's really all there is to it for sharing a t playbook with your team and setting up a, a new team. So I hope you found the video helpful. And as always, if you have any questions, please contact us. Thanks.